Mr. Andrew Wallace, I'm here today seeking some former justice from you or maybe the state. I may ask your help to do this. I'm here today because my daughter, Nzinga Kande Skin, she has been victimized by the police, very much victimized. She had some money with the police the other day. She got locked up, she got a court date, she got fined, but because of a misunderstanding, the fine wasn't paid, but she ended up at the lockup, even though eventually the fine was paid and she came out. But Mr. Holness, my problem is my daughter is 19 years of age. From she born until the day, until the 22nd of July, she is a rasta. She goes to relax from she born until that day. And she got locked up and a police call, um, corporal down at the Four Pass Police Station. Her name is Constable Michelle. She trimmed my daughter's locks. I mean, I like to know the reason why. I mean, I ask me to like some justice. Me can't live with this. I mean, I'm not live with this. This is not in the 60s. Rasta have contributed so much to society. Why are we still being stigmatized? Why did this lady cut my daughter? Like, me, I beg you, please, me, I ask you to help me to get some justice. Me can't live with this. My daughter go crazy. My daughter is going crazy. I ask for some justice. I need some justice. Okay, Mr. Prime Minister, these police officers, they are acting as if they are they are they have so much rights and nobody else have rights. Only the police have rights. Because I was coming from school one afternoon, sitting in a taxi with about four other persons. Two police officers came and said they want to remove one man out of the taxi. And he had a pepper spray. Because the man was defiant, he had pepper spray. In the car, pepper spray, pepper spray. In the car. I was there standing. I got so upset because I had on my mask. I was, I, I was not breaking any rule, any law, any rule because they said we are supposed to wear a mask. I had on my mask and the, and the man never had on a mask. I just put a pepper spray on the car. So I was the upset and talking for my right because I know my right as a human. And the police officer claimed that I disrespected him. So he was going to find me. He, he was going to charge me. While I was there, he uncuffed me. I was there. Can I see your tongue eye because they pepper spray me? Pepper spray me. Pepper spray burning me and my hands in my eyes. Irritating my eyes. Now go back to all of that. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. need to talk about how oh, you then trim your well, locks so in a today, Jamaica. Well, listen. I am so, I am so, I, I am so mad. I am traumatized because of the situation. I'm feeling as if I have no right. I want justice out of it. I'm 19 years of age. I have cut my ear for some silly reason. You don't have any reason to cut my ear. Right now, I'm going through so much trauma. I don't understand this. I do not understand why this lady has to cut my ear. Is my ear a problem? Is my ear a problem? God, she not have no right to cut me ear. No right, she not have to cut me ear. And then after she cut me ear, she have a baby as if she have a right. So I want to know now, if I only police have rights and civilian do not have any right. Or me as a Rasta theorist do not have any right at all. Because I see person, I see inmates in there about language, the reason down here, and I don't see them going cut her and go cut her ear. But me will come in and a sister locks and an extension me put on. I locks me, Abby, and you cut me ear. I will want to know the reason. 
Because when me ask her, say why she cut me here, she said, do not ask me anything. And she kiss her teeth, bring me to the cell and lock me. So I, I need, I need answers. Me need answers. Need justice, me need justice. This is not right. This is no, no right. This is not right. This is not right. You just took to all me feel in on my perspective. To all me and look at it. Me just feel like as if I'm nothing or nobody. Because you cut me here for no reason. You can't explain to me why you cut me here. You think of part of my identity. I've, she has taken so much things from me. She take my joy, sanity, everything. She take, she take, a, she took a lot from me. Me I tell you, my ear is a part of me. A woman's ear is her beauty, and you take away so much from me. A woman's ear is her beauty. You take away so much from me. Why? What reason you have to cut me ear? I have a beer as if you don't care. As if you can't do anything and you can't get to it. And you can't do anything and you just go so. My heart full. God knows my heart full. Why? Why? Why this? Capital punishment or something where you say you don't you want to cut out or you want to get rid of that. But me I tell you this, well, me I tell you the truth, but God love. If me the go on the station and my daughter tell me say the police then beat her, I me like more have an understanding because me know say when she when she gets angry, sometimes she behave away. But come on, man, you cut her locks, you take away you take away her identity, you try to trump upon her character, you try to. Eat. You play, you play a mind game with her. You don't even know the, the situation and the state of my daughter mind. Or her well-being and you cut her like you know where it was. My daughter went through traumas already when she tried to kill herself. And you come broke up, bring back my daughter to a state as this. Come on, man. We need some form of justice and we need some answers. And I don't get an answer for this. You come to me, me, 